So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, it is a graph question. We can see in the graph, uh, we have line T here, right? It's labeled there. And the question tells us we have line T. Um, and we have some points provided. We have this point here, 5 halves, negative 2. We have this here, the 9, 3 fifths. And we have this here, negative 6, negative 27 fifths. So what I'm going to do here is say, well, the question asked me to find the slope of line T. So there's a couple things I can do. The slope of line T is going to be, so slope, the few ways that I think about slope on this test is, first of all, rise over run, right? So can I just, and let me just erase this so we can clear some things up for a second. Can I just choose a point and figure out how much am I rising from that point? And how much am I running from that point in order to get to the next point? Now, if this first point was actually on an intersection between the grid lines, if this point was on an intersection, it'd be much easier. But because it's at this, uh, you know, negative 27 fifths value, I don't really know how much of a rise that is. Well, I can't just visually see exactly how much of a rise that is. So another way to find slope, so this is way... One, two, we have m, which represents slope, is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's use that here. And I'm going to try to choose a, a good set of ordered pairs. I do see that we have fractions, which I don't want to necessarily deal with. But yeah, let's, let's choose this point here and this one here, right? So basically we're saying you know, how much am I rising from here to there and across? Now, why am I choosing those two points and ignoring this point here? Well, it's because, and I'll just write them down here, negative 6 comma negative 27 fifths and 9 comma 3 fifths. It's really because of the fraction, right? So my y value in both cases already has a common denominator, which is going to help me out a lot. So again, if this is my x1, and this is my y1, and this is my x2, and this is my y2, then in order to use this formula, y2 minus y1, I'd have 3 fifths minus, now negative, so let's not forget about that. This was a negative 27 fifths, so 3 fifths minus negative 27 fifths. This negative time negative really makes this a positive. And then when I add those together, what I get is 30 fifths and 30 divided by five is six, right? So the math became super easy because the denominators were already the same. So that's my new numerator. Now under that, I have my x2 minus x1. So that's going to be nine minus negative six, which again, negative time negative is positive. 9 plus 6 is equal to 15. So we have 6 over 15. So if I take this 6 over 15 fraction, that is what my slope is equal to, but I can reduce that fraction because 3 goes into 6 and 3 goes into 15. So 3 is a greatest common factor between these two numbers. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. And 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So there is my simplified answer, 2 fifths. The slope of this line is equal to 2 over 5.